Grace here for My Dumb Channel Music Nights presented by SoCo. We're at Voodoo Fest in New Orleans. If you love live music, this is the festival for you. What makes the Voodoo Fest in New Orleans different than other live music experiences? For one, because it's an all day, all night thing, you know what I'm saying? Different kind of people, different kind of music. I enjoy it every year. I'm born and raised in New Orleans. And every time I come, I'm impressed more and more each year. Very unique. Everybody has their own way about them here. What inspired you today? It's a social commentary on the decline of America, where the great Gatsby what we're dead. Like our economy. Exactly. I'm here with Oza Motley. How did you pick the name? The name Oza Motley, it's on the Aztec calendar. Mm -hmm. It's a little symbol, dancing monkey, represents dance, fire, passion harvest, music. You guys were chosen as cultural ambassadors and sent overseas, right? Tell me a little bit about that. How was that? Oh, it was great. I mean, we've been to so many countries uh, in the past year and a half. Uh, we went to India, Nepal, um, Egypt. Uh, we just got back from Madagascar. What's been the best show that you guys have performed? Playing in Cairo um, on top of one of the citadels in the, in the center of the city, like overlooking the bit, one of the biggest mosques in the world. Then the sun was setting. It was like this huge sun. It was like the most spectacular moment in my life. Come on, jump, come on, jump, come on, jump, come on. Oh, so my crew that I rock with, young bucks trying to grow up and still rock. Woo! Time's up. Do you? Come on, get that. Go inside, side, 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 side. Get your hands in the sky, get them side to side. Sex at a concert? <laughs> Twice. Uh, no. It's on the to-do list. No, just one. I played the fifth on that. <laughs> How was it? I forgot. Oh. What kind of voodoo do we do? Can you show us your tattoos? So I met this guy back at the Albany Music Festival. Can I have your phone number? But he broke my heart, and I know I might seem like I'm on the rebound, but I, I really like you. You make me feel safe. I'm here with Fred from Cowboy Mouth. How did you get started in music? Formed this band called Cowboy Mouth, but I'm the drummer and lead singer, and I honestly just got tired of looking at guitar players' asses all the time. And I said, you know, I'm going to form my own band. And Put the drums up front because I'm tired of looking at guitar players' butts. That's probably really good feng shui for you on stage, too. It's rock and roll feng shui, and it works. <laughs> what goes through your mind when you're getting ready to go out there and perform? Absolutely nothing. The less I think, the better it is. So how would you describe Cowboy Mouth's sound? Uh, I would describe us as New Orleans-flavored rock and roll, a giant swirling rock and roll musical orgasm. Ooh, my body just had a convulsion for a second there. <laughs> was it a happy convulsion? It was great. But ladies and gentlemen, you are in the greatest city in the entire world, seeing a little rock and roll band called Cowboy Mouth from New Orleans, Louisiana. I haven't had this much fun in such a long, long time. This much fun could make a man go blind. I haven't had this much fun at all, and I swear. Flavor. I have a voodoo doll here. Who, band or performer, would you stick a voodoo love pin in? A love pin? What do you mean by love pin? Love pin. Someone you really, really love. Little Wayne. Dr. John, probably. Either Enrique Iglesias or Greg Gillis. Green Day. R.E.M. Definitely. Michael Stipe. Alanis Morissette. I'm all about some nine inch nails. I can't help it. Beyonce. Sexy. Wrong booty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for My Damn Channel Music Nights presented by Sogo, I'm Grace. Keep the music loud and we'll
I'll see you soon. Woo!